and Jamie Green in car number 91. Here we go, green flag in the air. Jamie Green trying to get the advantage on the start here. Look to the inside of Josh Sanford there, but no going. Down the back straightaway we go. We got him two, three wide down the back straightaway. How about this? The young driver out of Zephyr Hill Mars. He is the ageless wonder in the double zero, Mr. Buzzy Rudiman. Buzzy takes the deep belt down the back straightaway for a Saturday afternoon stroll here in Norman Park, Georgia. He's working that mid to high line through turns number three and four. Buzzy Rudiman sets that blue gator ride in the groove, powers down the back straightaway. He only knows one speed, and that's flat out. Here we go with the legend through turns number three and four. He's going to lead another lap, starting to pull away from Dylan Buren. How about Jeff Matthews? He's looking for a way around Buren, car number 24B. Matthews looks quick in certain parts of the racetrack, especially down here, turns number three and four. Dylan's got the groove that Jeff once looked like here. Matthews might have a good run on him this time, but no, Dylan Buren, car number 24B, able to hold on to the second spot. Man, Matthews giving it all he's got. Meanwhile, Buzzy's out front just cruising around. He's been here a time or two before at the front of the field. I mean, I believe that Buzzy Rudiman is pretty comfortable leading a race down the back straightaway here at Need More Speedway. Rudiman, this time by, will be six laps in the books. Can the legend in the beak bill. Blue Gator Restaurant and Supply Dover Break Ride. Bring it home with a heat race win here tonight. Love to get an opportunity to interview him in a feature win here tonight. He's got to make it through the heat race. One lap to go for the beak bill. Double zero of Buzzy Rudiman. Rudiman plants the car. It turns number one and two, finds his groove, sets the car straight down the back straightaway. Here we go, one final time. Rude turns number three and four. Here he is, the legend, Buzzy Rudiman in for the win. Double zero, David Rudiman. Here we go, green flag in the air. Brian Bernhardt, car number 69 out there as well. Watch Bernhardt. So they didn't like that. I was kind of skeptical how them guys were coming around turns number three and four. All right, Flagman's looking them over. Green flag in the air, Bernhardt. <laughs> I tell you, love watching these guys on the start. There's always a little gambling going on on the start of these race, races. And Bernhardt and Garrett Stewart will chase Ryan Rackley. Rackley is going to lead the first lap. Bio Lab entry. Rackley into turns number one and two. He's got that gunslinger behind him. Garrett. Car number 67, he was able to win it here last year at Needmore Speedway when the Modified rolled into town. Can he do it in the yard stop? Car number 67 this year, you see him flirting with that cushion up top here. Goes up high in turns number one and two, gets a good run down the back straightaway, but Ryan Rackley in the beak built race car has got a good ride himself. Car kind of floats down into turns number one and two. Driver turns it, stabs the gas down the back straightaway, but Garrett Stort had a phenomenal run through turns number one and two that time. Oh, here comes Garrett Stort. The gunslinger has got his sight set right on car number one of Ryan Rackley, the 16-year-old out of Valdosta, Georgia. Can he hold off that KG veteran Car number 67, Garrett Stewart. Stewart doesn't make too many mistakes. Rackley better be on his A game here tonight. So you hear Garrett Stewart hard on the throttle as he comes by the tower here. Now he's looking low. Ryan Rackley sets the car up, drives through turns number three and four down on the bottom side of the groove. Here comes Garrett Stewart once again to the bottom side. Oh, Rackley gets away good. That time through turns number one and two. Rackley really cool, calm, and collected in car number one. He's got one of the best in the business breathing down his back bumper. 
One final time down the back straightaway. Garrett Stort's gonna try a different line. He takes the car up high to the high side. Garrett Stort now with a run, but it's gonna be Ryan Rackley. Garrett Stort did that a lap. Too late, ladies and gentlemen. 72B and Clay Harris in the 21J. So ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Green flag is in the air. Couple of discount towing entries on the racetrack right now. Both of those cars are 72s. How about Clay Harris now working to the inside of Todd Neheiser. Neheiser will settle back into that third spot in the discount towing. Right, we got two of them back there. All right, Clay Harris has got his sights set on Dalton Lanning. Dalton car number 51 at Astor, Florida. Looking good here at the stripe. He's got Benny's racing equipment on the, on the side of car number 51. Wilkerson Farms on the side of car number 21J. How about Clay Harris now lurking to the bottom of the racetrack, looking for a bite down there, that rescue metal framing entry. Looking good with the wood down in turns number one and two. He flat putting it down there through there that time, baby. How about it? Clay Harris to the point. All right, Clay Harris. Nice to see the young driver up front here tonight. He's been struggling a little bit lately, but man, love to see the young guys up front. Harris now. Leads him, here comes Todd Neheiser back to that second position. He'll get by Dalton Lanning, car number 51. Neheiser now, he is a KG veteran himself that has been racing, God, it's gotta be over 30 years in, in modified racing and started in the Northeast with the big block modifieds. Now races out of the Panama City, Florida area in the Dirt Car UMP division, races all around. Wherever he can, you'll see Todd Neheiser in car number 72, whether it's Volusia Speedway Park, during Dirt Car Nationals, or here at Needmore Speedway. He is one of the top supporters for this division, no matter where they're at now. Down the back straightaway, one final time. Clay Harris, a driver out of Jupiter, Florida, now residing in the Trenton, Florida area in for the win here tonight in the Griffin Motorsports car number 21J